Yes, in this age of the coronavirus, scammers continue to randomly call people, sometimes scaring them into believing that a relative is in trouble. Yeah, it's the old grandma, yeah. I'm in trouble hoax. It's been around for years. Well, now scammers have changed the script a bit. They're saying you are in trouble. Yeah, WAT6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare talked with a woman who received one of these calls. Don. Well, that's right, Bo. There have been several calls made to her over the last three days. At first, the con artist had the young woman believing the story, but then the script became so outlandish that was being read, it was obviously a trick. In Knoxville, Tracy lives with her mother, and she asked that we not reveal their last name. Tracy says she's aware of scams, people calling on the phone, asking for personal information, and trying to fool you to send money. But she's never received a scam call until the other day. The electronic voice said there had been a wreck out of state and she's in trouble. And I pressed one and then that's when the lady came on and said that they had rented the car in Texas. Tracy said the story was strange. In the car wreck, a body had been found and evidence pointed to her. And that they had been a murder in the car and that my blood was in the car. And that's when they found the co cocaine in the car. And then she said that the law was coming to get me. They were going to come and... Arrest me for it. It all sounds kind of scary. Yes, I was scared. Why is that? Because I didn't really know if it was true or what. And then she asked me if I had any cash. And I told her no. I said, I, said, I don't have cash on me, you know. And then she said, the, well, she said there was a bunch of stolen credit cards. that I had stole a bunch of stolen credit cards. The scammer then made her pitch. She wanted Tracy's complete social security number. They give you the first and middle digits of your social security number? Yes. And they wanted? Me to give them the last digits. The last four digits. If you get a call or message like this, what should you do? If the emergency sounds outrageous, it probably is. If they ask for money, don't pay, either by card or wire money. And report the hoax to local authorities or contact the Federal Trade Commission at ftc.gov forward slash complaint. I've been getting calls from the people again. They're still calling you? Yes. Are you answering the phone? No, I'm not. Some older folks, I'm afraid they'll fall for it. Now, to make their story seem real, scammers like the one that called Tracy claim to be an authority figure, a police officer, for example. Often these imposters insist that you keep quiet about the demand for money to keep you from checking out their story. But no matter how real, urgent, or scary it all seems, it's a scam. Bo? All right, Don, thank you very much. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call his six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.